taking a break from globetrotting around the world. I am here with Camel Obscura. Thank you so much for being with us on B-Sides. Thank you for having us. I know that you guys have performed at Coachella. I was there, so you guys I wristband. You guys did a really great job. Like the crowd was like spilling out of the warehouse that you guys were playing. Yeah. We didn't really know what to expect, so it was just amazing when was it we your walked first out. Time, first, first time Coachella in Coachella, too? yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so we walked out there and the place was packed to the rafters, so we were delighted. You know, we were really happy. What do you think about playing with such large audiences? Do you think it like helps your performance like be better because there's so many people like cheering you on, or is it more nerve wracking because there are so many people that are there? I think it's maybe a bit of both, but I think it's mm -hmm. just a case for us. Um, you just have to kind of walk on, plug in and play, and so you don't really have time to to panic or to, to worry about it. And as soon as the crowd starts to make a noise, then you know things are okay. Yeah, I think doing a festival like that is great as a sort of special thing, but there's a lot to be said for a more intimate gig as well. I don't really aspire to play giant stadiums Mega all the stadiums time or anything. And, yeah. So can you tell me the history of Camera Obscura? Brief history? Uh, well, briefly, mm -hmm. most of us have been around since the late 90s. Um, we're on our fourth album just now. There are five of us in the band, sometimes six, sometimes seven, uh, depending on who we can afford to travel <laughs> with. Um, mm -hmm. And we are about one and a half years um, into touring this record, and we're coming to an end of all of that. Um, so we only have a few more shows to go. And I know that your band, you guys use a lot of instruments that kind of like aren't so traditional, like the, 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 the trumpet, mandolin, the triangle even. Like, how did you come about using those interest, instruments? Was it the people that you just wanted to work with play them, or did you outwardly look for people who play those instruments? I don't think it was anything too contrived. I think it was just a case of things were lying around, or maybe the producer suggested using a couple mm -hmm. of things, or, you know. Space in the song for something, and that's what it was. But it's mostly the band that played everything, apart yeah. from like the strings and stuff. Your um, album that's out right now is called My Maudlin Career. I actually like never heard of that word until I searched your album, but it has become one of my favorite words. Can you explain to the viewers what it means exactly? Maudlin. Well, excessively miserable in a sort of theatrical and pathetic way, I guess. I guess in, in our context it's a bit of a joke, but slightly real as well. So tell me a little bit about your album. We recorded it in Sweden, in mm -hmm. Stockholm, with our producer, Jerry Hapalainen. What are your favourite songs to perform from the album? Um, I like James because it's kind of peaceful and I like Honey in the Sun because it's kind of noisy. I quite like the uh, title track, My Modelling Career, because it's quite different to play from anything else. It's quite noisy. It's very noisy. Good way to wake people up at the starts of the shows. So. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. No problem. So make sure to check out the performances. They're great live. I'm about to see them right after this interview. Their album out right now is My Modelling Career. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show. Cheers, thank you. Right. B-Sides. Monday nights at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific. Only on Mix.